Sierra Chase. My sister right down and I are trying to climb 14,255 foot long peak. Click on the link below. We need your help. We are trying to win a sponsorship in order to climb this. Send it to your friends, your family, and send it on Facebook. View it as many times as you would like. Just click on the link below. Thank you. Hi Panthers. We're here to give you a warm-up sequence that you can use before games and before practices. So we're going to do 11 different exercises here. It'll take you about five minutes to go through this warm-up. And the first one that we're going to do is called arm swing. So for an arm swing, you're going to bring both hands out to the front. And you're going to bring them out to the side. Cross over the top. And switch, switch to the top and bottom. So you do 15 arm swings. You're going to follow those arm swings with the second exercise, which is the gorilla swing. So for a gorilla swing, you're going to bring one arm all the way up to the top of the head, the other arm down to the side of the body, and swing. So 15 per side there, so you'll count to 30. Your third exercise is a traffic cop. Now traffic cop is a great warm-up for the shoulders. You show that the elbow is up nice and high, and rotate the hands high and low, and high and low. You'll do 15 high, 15 low, so count to 30 on this one as well. And then you're going to move from there to a stick up. So a stick up, you're going to end up in that up position, and you're going to keep your, your shoulders back, keep your elbows back, keep your hands back, and you're going to raise your hands up and back down. You're going to bring your elbows just to parallel to the ground, your upper arms parallel to the ground, just like you see in the picture. So up, down, up, down. Our next one, you're going to move to windmill toe touches. So with windmill toe touches, you're going to bring the arms straight up to the side. Keep your legs nice and straight as well. Again, 15 per side. So you'll count to 30 on this one. Your next one is a body weight squat. Now for a body weight squat, what you really want to focus on is you want to focus on pressing the heels into the ground. So you should be able to wiggle your toes throughout the whole movement and your knees shouldn't come out over your toes. So the knees will stay behind the toes and you push your butt out to the back like you're trying to sit into a chair. You'll move from there into a woodpecker. A woodpecker is a great balance exercise, so for a woodpecker you're going to extend your arms out to the front, extend the leg out to the back, you're going to balance on one leg. You'll stop right at that bottom end, right there for just a second, and come back up. Great balance exercise. You do 15 on one leg, you'll switch to the other leg, do 15 on that other leg. You'll move from there into a forward lunge. So a forward lunge, you're going to take one giant step forward, and come right back. Stay on the same leg, giant step forward, and come back. Just like with those body weight squats, you don't want your knee to come out too far, you don't want your knee to come out beyond your foot. So you can take that wide step out, plant that forward, forward foot, and then you're going to sink your hips straight to the ground. So your knee doesn't come, continue to come forward. From there, your next exercise, Frankenstein walk. So you will have done 15 on each leg with those. You'll do 15 on each leg for the Frankenstein walks. For this, you're going to stay in the same position, just kicking one leg up and touching it right to your hands. Two more exercises. Number 10 is called a gate swing. So for a gate swing, you're going to bring one leg up, balance, move it out to the side, back in, back down. Same leg, you'll do a 15 on that leg, and then you'll switch legs, and you'll 15 on the opposite leg. So again, great balance exercise, great exercise for the mobility of the hips. And then your final one is a duck under. So for a duck under, pretend there's a wire above you, and you're going to duck under that wire, step nice and wide, and across. Alright, so you do 15 on each side there, that's 30. And that's your warm-up sequence for Panther softball. Still here? Well, what are you doing here? Well, if you're still here, you might as well click on the link. Share the video on Facebook. Tell all your friends. We're trying to win a sponsorship to Long's Peak here. Click on the link and help us. Thanks, Panthers!